everybody. Welcome back. Today I thought I would share with you the top four reasons why you should start to journal. Uh, as you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, I've been creating journals for several years now. And I've only recently, and when I say recently, probably in the last year and a half, started actually using those journals to journal in. And I thought um, a lot of people out there you know, maybe you're intimidated about um, starting journaling. I know I was. Um, I didn't have the time uh, until, you know, the last couple of years for different reasons. And I just thought this might be a good place to start for those of you who are interested in it and really want to know, you know, the top um, or the different reasons that, that I've started doing it. I've got four different <laughs> journals that I'm working in at the moment. And I've, like I said, I've always wanted to do this because I just love um, when you see a completed journal on Pinterest or maybe somebody's done a flip through on YouTube. I love seeing when they're packed out and I like it when they're just kind of a mix of things. It's just so much fun and I've always wanted to fill my own space with journals that I've done and so let me just set these to the side and I'll share you with you um, the different journals that I'm working in um, this is the first one I would say let me just make sure that I am in frame this is a traveler's notebook journal that I purchased I did not make this one and this one is just filled with some um, you know, of the refillable journals. And this one I journal in for my mental health, uh, mental clarity. It's just a great place to jot down things. <clears throat> it's kind of a dumping ground for, for my mind. And these are not decorated, you know, decorated or anything like that. It's just purely writing, as you can see. Uh, and I won't share those because they're private thoughts. But I f really do feel like this is uh, very, very helpful, um, you know, for people who are going through tough times or just, just generally. It's just a great place to just dump things that have been bothering you or... Um, just thoughts that you just want to get on a paper and um, and then when I've completed those I'll just uh, probably destroy them because they're they're just private things that I, I really wouldn't want anybody else to to read it's just for my own like I said my own um, well-being mental well-being so that's one way is for mental health or mental clarity now another journal that I'm working in. Um, this is just what I would say uh, for documenting uh, life. And this type of journal I'm working in is I'm just um, not necessarily doing it on a daily basis, but at least a couple times a week I'm going through and just adding photos and um, a little note on something and then I just play around with it and decorate it a bit. Um, so that's been a lot of fun. Um, here's another page I did. Um, I just thought this was really funny, this little image. I will share a little tip with you guys that I just recently discovered myself. Um, and this is uh, Shutterfly. Now, I'm not affiliated with them or anything. Um, this is just something that I've found that you can purchase uh, your photos and only have to pay the shipping costs of those. Um, so I printed out, I think, about 38 photos, and um, they're completely free. You just pay um, shipping, and this came for 38 photos I think it was about five dollars and ten cents in shipping so you might want to think about that that was uh, really helpful for me particularly being on the road as I don't have a printer so that's another little service um, that you might want to consider um, 
if you don't have the ability to print your own photos. So um, I'm, I'm not, sh you know, really showing you this because I think my pages are fantastic or anything. That's not the purpose of this video. This is just to show you the different ways of journaling. And I would consider this like a documenting my life journal. So that's the second reason to journal. Now a third reason, um, and this is a Margaret Miller, um, it's a collage weekly planner. She has a channel on YouTube if you're not familiar with her. This is last year's planner. Um, I've had this for a while, but I've only had the, the opportunity to start working in it. She's got another one this year, but I can't see a lot of difference other than the prompts are probably just slightly different. Um, so, so like week one, um, in this type of a journal, um, this is, I would say it's kind of a challenge type journaling, um, and you don't have to use a planner. She she offers the um, prompts for free, but there's a lot of different people out there that are doing it, so don't feel like you'd have to go with, with this particular type. But this is, I just call this like a challenge journal, and you're just using prompts. Um, this one was something fast, a postage stamp, a piece of map, a border or frame, and a portion of a brochure. And a bonus was a form or part of a form. And so that's how I created this page. Um, I've done a few weeks in here, and um, what I think I'm going to do with mine is, after I've done the 52 weeks, I'm going to come back and then probably just go over this side with the same prompt. So it's I'll, I'll end up with like two years out of this, this planner. So this is what I'm considering a uh, challenge journal. And the fourth journal that I'm actually working in is just a sketch pad. I've had this, again, for a little while, and I just haven't had time. Um, but I've just, this year, started working on this one. And it's not perfect, but I'm enjoying it. This is just, to me, for artistic expression or just for fun. And that's exactly what I've done. I've just taken bits and just collaged it on here and just really enjoying it. Um, and like I said, I've just started going through probably a couple times a month I work in this one. So between the four journals, it gives me a couple of days each week that I'm working in one or more of the journals. So it's just, it's just a lot of fun. Um, and... What I like about this is I'm doing it for myself. I don't have to be stressed out about um, when I'm making journals for other people. Um, there's just kind of a formula that I go through, and this is just completely, like, random. And, you know, some of them I, I'm happy with, and then others, um, like this particular page, I'm not that crazy about it, but... That I think that's part of um, the creative journey. Uh, you start where you start, and um, some people start more advanced than others. Um, I, same with my journaling, um, creating. You start out very basic, and then as you go on and get your confidence, you 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 know you get more and more advanced. So. But what's nice about it is you can go back and see where you started and where you're at now. So this, for example, was in January, and I'm not crazy about it. Um, this was March. I really loved how this page came out. And then um, just recently, I'm not going to flip through this, guys, because that's, like I said, it's not the point of this. Um, this is April, and you can see you know, where I've come from in just three months' time. So I'm very happy with how it's coming. And two, you know, I'm, I'm quite restricted on the supplies that I've got, but I do hope to keep working in this. And I think it's going to be fun in a year to go back and be able to flip through these things. And as I said, I love the fact that, you know, some of them, when, they're, when the journals are complete, they're, they're 
really full and I think it's just going to be a lot of fun to, to uh, go back and look at these. So as you can see, I mean just completely different reasons for journaling. Um, maybe just one of these has captured your interest or maybe all. I had no intentions of starting um, four journals at one time. It's just worked out that way, but I enjoy it because maybe one day I'm feeling like something's really, you know, bothering me. I can dump it in here and just get it out of my mind and I'm done with it. And then maybe another day I'm thinking, well, I'd like to have a prompt. I'm not sure what to do, but let me just open this up and, you know, see what, um, what, what I can challenge myself with. So I hope that that's helped explain to you guys, um, what journaling is a bit more and uh, maybe taking some of the intimidation out of it because I know for myself it it took me several years to get the confidence to, to just do it and like I said you know I'm not sharing this because I think mine are are you know beautiful and I want to share them but that's not it at all I'm doing this for myself and and hopefully over time I'll see that that um, I'm growing and, and I'm improving on it, but um, for very different reasons for journaling, I hope that that's helped you and I hope that it will um, encourage you to go ahead and get yourself a journal. You know, you can buy one of these planners already done or just pick up a traveler's notebook or make yourself a journal or pick up a sketchbook. Um, there's so many different ways that you can, you can journal. So I hope that that's explained it a bit and, um, and that you guys will give it a try. So that's all I've got to share with you today. Maybe one day I'll do a flip through if I feel worthy <laughs> to share some of the pages with you. But I will, um, I've had a couple of people ask me about my journaling process. And I think from time to time I might uh, try to do that. I'll see how it goes. Um, like I said, I don't want it to become a task for me where I'm thinking, I'm worrying about how it's going to come out. But I do think I will show um, a couple of processes on pages uh, for you down the road. So take care, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.